I found this ute on auction, it was an online clearing sale and arranged a time to go and have an inspection. I found the ute was parked with one wheel and hub missing and on one front side and the other front wheel had a tyre that was no good. The back wheels were okay. Now the missing hub was inside the cab along with the stub axle nut, split pin and cap. I figured that if I bought the ute, I'd have a week to find some bearings as well as two wheels and tyres and then I would be able to make it roll and then it'd be a simple matter to get it on and off the trailer to take it home as well as roll it around at home. You know, we made inquiries about wheels and specs and I was on Gumtree and I found a motor truck manual for the AA model vehicles for sale. I sent the guy a text message and said I'd, I'd like to purchase that and also I was looking for some wheels if he knew anyone that had any. He texted back and he said well I might actually have some, I'll get back to you. Cut a long story short, I went and picked up two wheels and a manual and one wheel had a tyre on it and took them to the tyre shop got another second hand tyre for the other wheel and two new tubes and got that sorted so I've come up with a nine point plan to get this ute to where I want it to be step one was as I've just explained to find two wheels and tyres and a set of wheel bearings to get it rolling step two to get it home step three wash off the lichens you can see there's a few lichens on there when I purchased it. Step four, get the engine running. Step five, make sure it drives, cover anything that needs covering there. Six, get it stopping, aka okay, fix the brakes. Seven, get it roadworthy. You know, I just want to get it on the road ASAP. I'm not the sort of person to to put a lot of time and a lot of money in it and not get any enjoyment out of it. I see others that do that, and that's good, and full credit to them, but that's just not for me. Step eight, get it registered, and then step nine, make it look pretty. So that's fixing all the little itty bitty things and get some nice paint on it and all that. That's, you know, I want to get it on the road before I do that, get some enjoyment. As I said before, the wheel hub was off when I picked this up, and so I just used the found the original bearings and just jammed it back on and got the wheel on just so I could get it on the trailer and get it home but as far as front brake components I've got two shoes one where worn down to the rivets the rivets have worn a groove in the hub and I have this part which I believe goes on there to hold the shoes on but I haven't got a cylinder all the springs and bits and pieces so I'm gonna need all those I'm gonna need new new shoes new drums probably just go complete new for both front because I figure that's the most important part of the vehicle when you're traveling down the highway the highway speeds you want it to keep rolling and you want it to stop when you want it to stop you can see that I got the front wheel back on I had to clean the shaft up do it properly and I've cleaned her up pressure washed all the lichens off uh, there's a couple of rust holes in it but not too many the roof cutters are really good you can see this hole just in front of the front door there uh, the front door I've actually given a really good clean some of the rust is actually coming off which surprised me and I actually did a little patch cut and polish just to see what it would look like so that's yeah, interesting. You're going to need a new fuel cap. The bonnet looks a little bit rusty. She's all sunburnt, only rusty on top. You can see the bumper has got a bit of a bend in the middle of it. Passenger side front guard's got a massive dint in it. 
there's a lot of lichens on this side. As you can see under the badge where they didn't sit for some reason. Maybe the chrome kept them away. I don't know. The step side tray is not in bad condition. The floors are stuffed, but not hard to fix. So I'll get a sheet metal guy to fold me up some new stringers. That's what they're called. Put some timber in there. Make it like it used to be. Get the tarp made up for it. You see there's a massive dent in the left hand guard. But overall the tub's pretty good. A little bit of rust in the cab corners down the bottom. Not so much on the drive side, but a lot on the passenger side. And the bottom of the door is just starting to rust a little bit. I haven't got any door cards. I think they just fell apart, got brittle with age. I uh, need a window winder for the passenger side and a door handle for the driver's side. I've got no seat. It had an EH holding seat sitting on the frame, but I've got a seat sorted, I believe. And seat belts, I like the vintage, but they're probably a bit past it. So I'm not sure what I'll do there. They must have been put in aftermarket, so. Maybe they could come out, but then maybe the wife might like them to stay. A little bit of floor that's just in the corner of the cab behind the seat. A little bit of rust there. In the roof, um, but not the gutters. So it's only on the inside of the roof. Sun visors a cactus. And there's a <laughs> mirror that came with it. That's the original position. There's on the door. And I did see some... Um, reproduction 57 Chevy mirrors look pretty similar that I'm interested in There's a little bit of rust in the floor in the cab missing the clutch pedal rubber actually I've got it but it's a bit, a bit worn out got a glove box lid and the ashtray although the handle broke I broke that so I think I don't think plastics the way to go I think at all <laughs> 